have on the front stretch at the Homestead Miami Speedway as they get the championship celebration organized. 200 employees of Joe Gibbs Racing, so many well-wishers there to congratulate Tony Stewart, Joe, Greg Zipidelli, and their entire team. And the presentation of the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship trophy is coming up in a moment. Here are the final results from today's Ford 400 season-ending race here at Homestead. Kurt Busch with his fourth victory of 2002. And we see Bobby Hamilton comes back for a top 10 finish. Mark Martin, fourth place today. Valiant try. A little bit shy in his bid for the championship, though. And Mike Wallace, a great 11th place run. 11th place run. Dale Jarrett just could never make up that track position he lost when they got four tires and everybody else didn't. And Rusty Wallace did not win a race in 2002, much to his chagrin. Engine troubles for Earnhardt Jr. slowed him. He led 46 laps earlier. And you see those who struggled and finished laps down to the uh, race leader. 38th place Jeff Green on down, failed to finish today. Cars involved in accidents, Michael Waltrip, Jimmy Spencer, Dave Blaney, they'll occupy the final three spots of the Ford 400. Championship, the final gap from Tony Stewart to Mark Martin was 38. The 25 points for the Rockingham penalty didn't come into play in the final tally. And Kurt Busch won that close fight for third place in the final standings. And that's what they all start in February, trying to attain the NASCAR Winston Cup trophy. All right, you see up on stage, the dignitaries are gathering. When we come back, NASCAR presents the Winston Cup Championship trophy to the 2002 champion, Tony Stewart. You're watching NASCAR on NBC. Welcome back to the Homestead Miami Speedway. The celebration continues, and now the official presentation of the 2002 Winston Cup to the new champion, Tony Stewart. Here is the president of NASCAR, Mike Helton. Tony, on behalf of everybody from NASCAR, congratulations, pal. You and the Home Depot team did a great job this year. You've earned it. The pressure's off. Enjoy it now. And now Andy Schindler, the chairman and CEO of the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. Tony, congratulations to you. To your great crew chief Greg, Joe Gibbs Racing, and the entire number 20 Home Depot Pontiac team. You guys had an outstanding year. In recognition of that year, I want to formally present you the trophy as the champion for the 2002 NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. Way to go, buddy. You want to hold that up for everybody out there to see it one time? Here's your champion, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Stewart. season concludes with a championship for Tony Stewart and he'll hand off the trophy and now as he takes off his jacket because he doesn't really need that here Tony you are the new champion and here comes the big celebration Before you pop that, come on out here. I just got one question for you, Tony. I know you want to celebrate with your guys. You're the new champion. Are you ready to be the leader of this sport? Well, I don't know if I'm qualified to be a leader of this sport, but uh, you know, guys like Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt are, are what made this sport what it is. And uh, all we can do is just do the best we can. I mean, uh, this is a tough series, but you know, the, the greatest thing was coming down pit lane there and seeing my peers and from different teams and. You know, different car owners and drivers and crews just, uh, they're what make the series what it is. I'm not going to change anything and I'm not going to try to, but, uh, you know, I'm not the leader of this sport. Everyone in this garage area does their part and, uh, you know, everybody at NASCAR does a great job of making sure that the, the playing field's level for us and that, uh, you know, that we're able to, to do what we do each week. But, you know, these crews and, and their families are the ones that sacrifice their energy and time to do all this. and. You know, it's not me, it's it's all of us. We're all doing this together. You've got a big night in New York coming. We'll see you there. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> That's Tony Stewart, the 2002 NASCAR Winston Cup champion. Other drivers have won championships at young ages and gone on to lead this sport to its future. The next new champion expected to do that is Tony Stewart. 
Alan Bestwick. Bill, thank you. And so it's over. The 2002 NASCAR Winston Cup season that's been very exciting. 18 different winners. And thankfully, it's been very safe as well. Action that started some 10 months ago in the middle of February when Ward Burton won the Daytona 500 concludes here today with Tony Stewart being crowned the 25th champion in NASCAR's 54-year history. Memories of the season are many. Sterling Marlin tugging the fender at Daytona. The Rusty Wallace Jeff Gordon bump and run at Bristol. And today's tense moments as Stewart tried to lock up the championship. It's been a great ride. The Fox Boys take over at February. We've had a ball and hope you'll see us again next July when NASCAR on NBC returns from Daytona Beach, Florida. For Benny Parsons, Wally Dallenbach, Bill Weber, and our entire NASCAR on NBC crew, I'm Alan Bestwick. Thanks for watching. You've been watching NASCAR on NBC.